Welcome to Build Your Arsenal. Today we're taking a look at the Beretta APX in 9mm. The Beretta APX is a great combination of durability, reliability, ergonomics, impressive trigger, and modularity at an unbelievable price. So let's take a look at what comes in the case. In the hard case, you have your manual, paperwork, two 17 round magazines, and a magazine loader. You also get a cleaning kit. The APX comes with three interchangeable back straps so you can find what works best for your hands and preferences. It also uses a removable serialized chassis frame. So the APX can easily be modified with replaceable grip frame housings. The APX we are looking at today is the full size one, but it also comes in Centurion, Compact and Carry models. I'll also mention that Beretta offers holsters, grip frames, night sights, and other parts and accessories at BerettaUSA.com. I know reviews have gone back and forth on the APX's aesthetics, but I really like the way it looks. Its aggressive full-length slide serrations make slide manipulations very easy. The ergonomics are fantastic and it fits well in the hand, has just the right amount of texture. Let's look at the trigger. The APX's trigger breaks at six pounds and has a clear, tactile, and audible, very short reset. I also want to mention that similar to the Breda 92 series, when the APX's trigger is pulled, the top of the striker block safety extends from the top of the pistol. This serves as a visual indicator that the safety is properly working and has been disengaged. The magazine release is easy to get at without breaking your grip. Next, I want to show how to field strip the APX. There are two ways of doing it. One is by pulling the trigger and the other is by depressing the striker deactivation button. First, let's do the trigger pull method. The pistol is cleared, then you press the trigger and then retract the slide back slightly and push and rotate the takedown lever. Then we'll move the slide forward and remove it from the frame. The recoil spring assembly can be lifted out of the slide and tilt the barrel by grasping the cam log and remove the barrel from the slide. To reassemble, we will insert the barrel into the slide by tipping the barrel into the front of the slide, then install the recoil spring assembly with a large flat end engaged into the recess in the barrel cam log. Then just align the slide and frame and make sure the takedown lever is in the locked position. The APX has a striker deactivation button that can be pushed to deactivate the striker instead of pulling the trigger. This helps to prevent accidental discharges, which other striker fired pistols can suffer due to negligence during disassembly. So we'll retract the slide and hold it while depressing the striker deactivation button with either a small punch or I'm using a ballpoint pin until you hear a click, which is the disengagement of the striker then everything is just like the previous method. So why should you add the Beretta APX to your arsenal? Simply put, I don't understand why this pistol can be had for under $400. It's a budget pistol price, but don't let that fool you. Its quality is well north of $600. For the best price and for availability, Cabela's and Bass Pro are about the best go-tos for the APX. Currently, they are $359.99 to $379.99, depending on the model. I'm very tempted to get the compact model from them. If you're looking for a striker-fired pistol, make sure to take a look at the Breda APX. With the APX, you're getting Breda's legendary quality, durability, and reliability at an incredible price, and that's why it's in my arsenal. Thanks for watching Build Your Arsenal, and see you next time.